I'm getting too old to be sleeping in that chair, it's man. My it's my place. You don't got no place. Cookie, she threw you out, and you can't seem to get another woman. You lucky I let you stay. Every Friday, you say mi casa y su casa. Every Friday, you come home with your paycheck. Today is Thursday. And I tell you, brother, <laughs> it's a long way from Friday to Friday. All kind of things can happen. All kind of bad feelings can surface and erupt while your little brother waits for you to bring in your share. I got my Thursday head on, Link. Go get the food. <laughs> you don't got no running water in here, so? man. You ain't got no toilet. Bathroom's down the hall. You living in the third world, fool, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna get your food. <laughs> Payday is Friday, baby. <laughs> Welcome back to GMA3. We are shining a spotlight on Broadway today, and that was a clip of the Pulitzer Prize winning play Top Dog Underdog. It's a revival of the dark comedy about brotherly love. Yeah, we love this guy. Our next guest was the star of the show, and he just recently received his first Tony Award nod for Best Lead Actor in a Role. Uh, play there. Please welcome back to GMA3, Yaya Abdul Mateen II. Woo! <laughs> So how does it feel? Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm on top of the world. I hadn't seen that, uh, that uh, footage before, so it was nice seeing me and my brother up there doing my thing, but I'm blessed. And you dreamt about, you know, playing this role for, what, 15 years of Booth? Yeah, maybe even 16 now. I mean, I, that was, um, this was the first piece of contemporary work that I ever did that felt like me, that felt like myself, that, that spoke like I spoke, that used the language that I use at home or that my cousins and my family use. Um, I was at Berkeley and I did a, uh, a director showcase and uh, I found this character Booth, he had a real big heart and uh, he, 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 he wanted something out of life and I said, man, I, you know, I just, I got to find out more about this guy. And, you know, 16 years later, this was, this was literally my, my dream role. I got to step on that stage and look at you And yeah, this yeah, is yeah. your first Broadway play, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So how does it feel to be nominated for a Tony Award for not only your first Broadway play, but your dream role, as you just called it. Um, I'm still learning what it all means. I'm still, I'm still processing. You know, really, the performance, I just wanted to get to that stage and perform Booth and, you know, perform the role. And, uh, you know, we had about 16,000 high school kids come out to see it uh, from the high schools all over New York City. Um, outside of all of the audiences, and it was just really a gift. And, and it's it, to be here as a Tony nominee, it proves that this project is the gift that keeps on giving. Um, I'm extremely blessed. And tell us about your day to day preparation. You get there early, what, an hour and a half early or something like that for this intense role? Uh, I get there about 45 minutes. About 45 minutes early, I go through my vocals, my warm ups, my meditation. Uh, Meditation. Yeah, yeah, and then I and then I assume that I don't know anything. I say a quick prayer and then I walk through that door, uh, like I don't know what's going to happen next. And that was really the spirit of of play and spontaneity that we took to this to this role and to this piece every single night. You know, we walked on that stage having no idea what was going to happen next, which is it's it's so dangerous. To, to do the play that way, but it's also fulfilling and rewarding. It allows it to be as fun and, sponta and, and, uh, and uh, spontaneous and you dangerous alive. as mm -hmm. it can be. Yeah, absolutely. And we were laughing during the commercial break. You were looking back at these pictures. Yeah, you said, that's yeah. a lot so of me. That's a lot yeah, of me that's up a there. lot of me. I, yeah, I, I remember that dude. <laughs> How does it feel to be here now? You've done all these movies. You've done all kinds of things. What do you want to do next? Yeah, The Matrix. Oh, Candy man. Uh, Candyman? Candyman? I know. <laughs> uh, you know, I just, I just really want to just keep, keep doing work that keeps me honest, you know, uh, that resonates with people, that, that resonates with my community. Um, I'm building a production company. I have a company at Netflix. It's called House 1110. Uh, we want to do everything with class. That means we want to have culture, language, ambition, style, and soul. Uh, not, not dissimilar from what we were able to do with this play, you know. Uh, to bring what I know from home, inside of my body, from my culture, onto a stage. I think we can do the same thing uh, with film and television and beyond. And, and through it, you know, throughout it all, I just want to keep a, keep a great attitude, uh, affect a lot of people, uh, make people smile, make people laugh and, you know, do, do some really cool things. All right, let's go back if we can. You went to school yeah. for architecture. Yeah. Theater, where did that come from? Uh, it came from a little dare, a little dare uh, that I, you know, that, I, that someone dared me to take an acting class and, and I went out and did it and then I had a lot of fun. But I was always, 
I think I was always going to be in front of the cameras, mm -hmm. no matter what. Always, I was always finding the light. I'm the youngest of six, and I just kind of had that kind of upbringing and, you know, that kind of household where they gave me a platform, and, you know, I willingly took it. Uh, but once I found theater, once I said yes and said yes back, and, and uh, you know, fast forward, and here I am. And I'm Ooh. still going. Did you say you're yes the baby? Back. Yeah. You're yeah, the baby? Yeah. Do they give you a hard time now that you're this big star? Nah, what is it like? Nah, nah, what, is, what, what is the family response? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he bring the check home. Yeah. Right? <laughs> 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 there we go. That's a good callback. No, uh, my mom's the star of the family. Aww. You know what I mean? And I love that. Yeah. All right, wow. brother. We're so proud of good you. Luck. One more time for yeah. Yaya. Yeah. Yes, sir. And the best of luck to you. Appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.